Hello everyone, welcome again. So today's lesson will be on metals, semi-metals and non-metals. So in this series we're looking at classifying elements and this is one of the ways that we can actually classify elements into different categories. So some of these may be obvious, metals and non-metals, they may be obvious to you already, but we're going to look at them in sort of a more rigorous way instead of just the intuitive way that we're used to seeing. So first before we talk about categorizing things, we just need to make sure that we understand how we categorize things. We basically categorize different elements based on their physical properties. Now a physical property is anything that can be tested without actually changing the composition of the sample. So for instance, if I had a piece of magnesium, I wanted to test its malleability, I could bend it. Now that doesn't change what's in that piece of magnesium, it's still magnesium, but I can bend it to see how malleable it is, or I can hit it to see how flexible it is, things like that. So it doesn't change what's inside the sample, it just may change the shape or something like that. So physical properties can include electrical conductivity, so if I connected you know, a battery to it, I could watch how much electricity goes through it. Hardness, so if I had some kind of hardness scale, I could test how hard this piece of magnesium is. And you see none of these things are changing the fact that it's magnesium, it's just we're just looking at what it can do in terms of you know, how hard it is or how conductive it is. Ductility, so if I wanted to draw it into a wire, I could, and it would still be magnesium. I could melt it or boil it, but that doesn't change the fact that it's magnesium. So you can see that these physical properties are just simply things that I can test without having to change the chemistry of the sample. Now chemical properties would require me to change the sample completely. Another one is malleability. So if I wanted to you know, hit it into certain shapes, I could do that as well. Define, uh, distinguish between the term physical and chemical property. So physical properties are those that can be found by studying the substance itself rather than the reactions it undergoes. Okay, so physical properties are found by looking at the substance and doing things just to the substance, but not looking at the reactions within that substance. Chemical properties describe how a substance reacts, so whether it reacts with water, oxygen, acids, and if it decomposes when it's heated, those kind of things. So we're looking at how it reacts, not what it is as a substance, okay? So that's the difference. 